how to prevent skin cancer and what to look for. So I have three tips. The first tip is to see your dermatologist and to get a skin exam. Everything should be looked at from the head to toe because remember your skin covers every part of your body including your scalp and the bottoms of your feet. So those all have to be checked. Secondly, you need to check yourself. I want everyone to strip down once a month, take everything off and stand in front of a full length mirror. What you're looking for are any new moles or change in moles and you're looking for a change in size, shape, color or border or anything else that changes. Any new moles or any change in moles have to be checked. Remember to check those areas of the body that are difficult to see. Check your calves, check your back. Another little tip when you go to your hairdresser, before your hair is dry, I want you to ask them to check your scalp. They can use the hair dryer to check the scalp itself and they'll start from the crown and work down. That way your scalp gets checked as well. We know that skin cancers on the head and neck have a worse prognosis, likely because they're more difficult to see and because they're not caught until they're symptomatic. So make sure that your scalp is checked. The third thing is how to protect your skin. The use of a sunblock with an SPF at least 30 is recommended and you want to use one that has both UVA and UVB blockers. It should be applied about an hour before you go outside and if you're going to be swimming or sweating you need to reapply more often. The next thing is the use of sun protective measures. That means you seek shade between the hours of 10 and 4, whether it's a tree or go inside. And other things that you can do, wear a hat, a broad brim is best, at least 6 inches in the front and 5 in the back. What I recommend for my patients, especially for women and the V of the neck, is to make sure that the hat that they wear is going to cover the neck and the chest area. Those are often areas that are forgotten in women. The other thing that you can do is look at getting some good sun protective clothing. Get something that covers up to the neck and down and preferably over the hands as well. So those are my tips, my three tips for National Skin Cancer Month. Please go out, please have fun. We finally have some spring-like weather, but please be safe. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. Lisa Kellett.